In this lesson, you will learn how to calculate the sample variance and standard deviation of grouped data from a frequency distribution table. The table shows the scores of students in a statistics test. The first column lists class intervals, which represent score ranges. For example, the first class represents students who scored between 50 and 59. The second column lists the frequency, which tells us how many students scored in each interval. For instance, in the 50 to 59 interval, the frequency is 6. This means that 6 students scored between 50 and 59. The sample variance of grouped data is calculated using this formula. Here, S squared represents the sample variance. F is the frequency of each class. X is the midpoint of each class. X bar is the mean of the grouped data. The summation of F is the total frequency. That is the total number of students in the sample. The standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. Here S represents the sample standard deviation. So to find the standard deviation, first calculate the variance and then take its square root. The first step is to calculate the midpoint of each class interval. The midpoint of a class is the average of its lower and upper limits. In the first class, the lower limit is 50 and the upper limit is 59. Adding them gives us 109, and dividing by 2 we get 54.5. That's the midpoint of the first class. Similarly, the midpoint of the second class is going to be 60 plus 69 divided by 2, which equals 64.5. Repeat this process for the remaining classes. The next step is to find the mean of the grouped data, which is calculated using this formula. First, multiply each midpoint by the corresponding frequency. For the first class, 6 times 54.5 equals 327. For the second class, 10 times 64.5 equals 645. Do the same for the remaining classes. Now add up all the products of midpoints and frequencies. When we sum these values, we get 2980. Next, add up all the frequencies to get the sample size. This gives a total of 40. Finally, divide the sum of the products by the total frequency. This gives us a mean test score of 74.5. Now write this down in the mean column of the table. Next, subtract the mean from each midpoint. For the first class, 54.5 minus 74.5 is negative 20. For the second class, 64.5 minus 74.5 is negative 10. Do the same for the remaining classes. Next, square each of the differences you obtained. Negative 20 squared is 400, right? Negative 10 squared is 100. Repeat for the other classes. Next, multiply each squared difference by the corresponding frequency. For the first class, 6 times 400 equals 2400. For the second class, 10 times 100 equals 1,000, right? Do the same for the rest of the classes. Now, to get the sum in the numerator, you just need to add up all the products of the squared differences and the frequencies. Adding these values, we get 6,600. We already calculated the total frequency earlier. It's 40, right? Simplifying this, we get 169.23. So the sample variance is 169.23. Now to find the sample standard deviation, just take the square root of the sample variance. The square root of 169.23 is about 13.01 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the standard deviation is 13.01. Keep in mind, the mean, variance, and standard deviation we calculated are estimates. That's because we don't know each student's exact score. We only know the score ranges and how many students fall into each range. So we use the midpoint of each range to represent the scores. This means the values we calculated are not exact. They are estimates based on grouped data. To recap, Here's the formula to calculate sample variance and standard deviation of grouped data, along with what each variable means. Here's a quick summary of the steps you need to follow. And finally, a practice problem for you to try on your own. Pause the video, give it a shot, then check your solution. 
But wait! To learn how to find mean absolute deviation, click on the video on the screen. You'll also find the links in the description or in the first comment below.